In this problem, we're being asked to graph an absolute value equation. In this case, the equation is y equals 4 times the absolute value of x. When we graph an absolute value equation, we're going to get something that looks like a v. It might be squished or stretched or flipped upside down or moved around, but it's going to look like a v. And that v is going to come to a point, and that point we call the vertex. That's the first thing you want to graph when you're graphing an absolute value equation. This is the vertex. The vertex is where what's inside the absolute value symbol equals zero. In our case, the only thing we have inside the absolute value symbol is x. So we can just set x to zero and then calculate y. That's going to give us the vertex. So if I put in zero for x, the absolute value of zero is just zero. And four times zero is still zero. So our vertex is at the point 0, 0. The next step in graphing an absolute value equation is to choose points on either side of the vertex. So I'm going to choose this point right here and this point right here. So that's 1 and negative 1, and see what those are. When I plug in 1 for x, the absolute value of that is still 1, and 4 times 1 is 4. So our y value here is 4. When I plug in negative 1, I'm going to get the same thing because the first thing I do is take the absolute value of that, and that gives me a positive 1, and 1 times 4 is 4. I should probably plug in two more points. Well, actually, let me graph these first. So negative 1, 4, and 1, 4. So you can see we're going to have a V that opens upward like this, and it's kind of, kind of narrow. But let's go ahead and put in two more points, so 2 and negative 2. These are going to come out to be the same y value as well, because the first thing I do is take the absolute value of a negative, and that's going to give me the positive. So let's calculate 2, and I know the same for negative 2. So if I put in 2 here, the absolute value of that is 2 times 4 is 8. So that's 8, and that's 8. So I've got 2, 8. Actually, that goes off my graph a little bit, but that's OK. And negative 2, 8. And once we've got that many points, we can just draw in our diagonals. And there we go. That is the absolute uh, 4 times the absolute value of x. So that is how to graph an absolute value equation.